I want you to bite into the chocolate bar seductively. I'm like, bro, you want me to do what? Bite into the chocolate bar seductively. In my head, the way I was processing it at the time, This is my story on how I became famous, literally eating chocolate. Follow me. So if you're new to the channel, which you obviously are, but this is the official first video that we're putting out right now. I'll put you on game with a few little tidbits about myself. I'm a social media influencer, actor, and entrepreneur. You may have seen me getting punched out by Chris Brown. Yeah, that happened. Or casually deep sea diving in a jacuzzi with Leslie Jones. That, that happened too. The icing on the cake. You may have seen me in the booed up video by Ella May playing her love interest. That was, that was, that was fly. But let's take it back to the beginning. June 2015. I fly down to Fort Lauderdale to shoot with this dope photographer, videographer that's been contacting me on IG for the last several months. Mind you, at that time, my account was brand new. It was fresh. I was only using it for real estate at the time as I'm a former real estate agent. And I had a couple modeling pics on there, you know, nothing too crazy. But this guy has done some amazing work. So I wanted to see what was up. So the first initial time that we shot, both of us getting a feel for one another, each other's styles. That first time was pretty chill. Fly back to GR. We're gonna put these photos on Instagram and on Facebook. A few moments later. Yo, next thing I know, we starting to pick up a little bit of traction. We got something here. So I fly down there the second time and we decide that we're gonna get a little more creative with the concept. This time, you know those TMZ paparazzi style photos? I was walking on Miami South Beach and I had headphones on, right? I had my shirt off, had some sweats, had some Nikes. I think they were Roshi Runs. Roshi's just a big shit. I don't think I had underwear on at the time, so I was letting the V show. He introduces this teaser video concept. As we know now, this is this is the reels, the uh, TikTok videos, this is YouTube shorts, this is Facebook reels. So we shoot a couple teaser videos, right? I think we shot three of them. I'm actually gonna link these videos to my Instagram because that's that's where I have them right now. The, the original videos. Same thing, I get back to GR, we come up with this game plan, like we're gonna slowly start to release these videos. It wasn't until that third time. I guess three times a charm. He has this idea and he was like, I want to shoot it in South Beach. All right, cool. So on the way to Collins Ave, he's like, yo, I got to run a CVS to grab this candy bar real quick. And it was a hot ass day. It ain't really my thing to eat chocolate bars outside on a hot ass day. Could we interest you in some chocolate? Hey, do, do you. He pulls the Hershey chocolate bar out of the bag, right? I want you to bite into the chocolate bar seductively. Chocolate! 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 Bite into the chocolate bar seductively. In my head, the way I was processing it at the time, this has to be the dumbest shit I have ever heard of. Beautiful women skating by, got the bikinis on, on the roller skates. I look goofy. But you know, I said, okay, you know, you, you are the visionary. I'm gonna do it. I'm hot. By the time he was ready to actually start shooting, he grabs a Hershey chocolate bar out of the bag. The shit melted. He just bought this chocolate bar three to five minutes ago. So he's like, ah, oh, shit. Let me run back in CVS and grab another one and then we're gonna shoot it. In his head, this is the one. I get the Hershey chocolate bar peel it back. I bite into that joint like a goddamn cheeseburger. But when he did the playback, it looked, it looked beautiful. It looked absolutely amazing. I'm kind of excited because this is the simple fact that I got over the hurdle of doing it. Yo, this shit better be. Yo, this shit better be worth it. So October rolls around. I'll never forget this day. This was October 7th, 2015 be like hey the video is ready post it on your socials like all right boom i'm gonna post it on ig i'm gonna throw it out there on facebook and i'm gonna see what happened he sends me the video and he edits r kelly's damn 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 i want to give you the title of king of r&b but i just mm. he edits r kelly's seem like you're ready over the video while it's in slow motion Hey, listen, listen. I had it all wrong. 
I remember posting that video on Facebook and Instagram, and then it just started rolling. The likes started to come in. The comments started to come in. I'm talking like, I'm watching this happen in real time. My phone is going off nonstop. Ding, ding, notification, ding, here go a like. Ding, here go a comment. Ding, you get a share. The view count is going up by 100,000 views every hour. I had a two point, it was either 2.5 or 2.8 million views in 24 hours. I can't even sleep. I'm losing my shit. And looking back on this, I'm like, how? As I'm thinking about it, it's the same components that still work today. It was the slow motion. It was the sound, implementing the food. And I ain't saying I'm the, I'm the best looking guy, you know what I'm saying? But I, I hold it down. And for some odd reason, the, the timing, it just popped. I went from Donnell Blaylock Jr., the guy that works at Kids for Locker, from real estate agent to chocolate eats chocolate. Mm. How you doing? All right, all right, all right. We I'm gotta sorry. Go back. Bye -bye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got Inman in the top five for real estate publications online. Essence online. Cosmopolitan Germany reached out. I had a whole spread in the magazine and Penelope Cruz was on the cover because it was like a huge accomplishment for me. And from that moment, October 7, 2015, I have never looked back. That was the beginning of what my career is today. The music video, being a social media influencer, being able to work with some of the biggest brands in the world, being in TV and film, it set the tone and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna miss out on this opportunity. This is literally how it happened. I, I kid you not, I'm not here to bullshit you. I'm not here to steer you the wrong way. This is literally how it happened. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you like more stories like this. I got a ton of them. But until next time, I am Donnie Savage. You are officially a part of Camp Savage. As we keep this, this YouTube journey rolling, we are on the race to 500 subscribers. Let's get to 500, all right? like this video, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.